Hey, I'm Albert from Muffin Group and from now on I will be making a video tutorials about the bee theme and the bee builder. If you have any feedback about this video or just want me to make a tutorial about something you don't know how to use, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. Ok, so let's move on to the topic. In this tutorial I would like to show you mask shapes feature we've recently added in the bee builder. We've applied it to three elements heading video and image it's a great choice if you want to cover things like images videos or headings with the built-in shapes or completely custom ones in a moment you're gonna see how easy it is and how nice effect it may bring to your website okay so let's jump into the bay builder uh, i'm gonna start from the heading uh, because this element has less options than the other two. Okay, so uh, I've just added the uh, heading uh, to the bee builder and now I'm gonna customize it a bit. Let's change the title first uh, and I'm gonna center it and maybe I will change its size to a bigger one so you can see better uh, the background I'm gonna uh, apply behind this custom heading okay uh, let's make it a little bit bolder and maybe let's find the custom font okay that's great let's get back to the content tab and as you can see uh, in the bottom uh, part of the content tab of the heading element we have the mask shape the first option is background image uh, it's basically the image that would appear behind our heading text we've already set uh, that's great as you can see uh, the image is partially uh, hidden and it looks really great with our custom heading text of course you can apply any background you like uh, moreover we can select the position for the background we have several we can choose from also we can select the text stroke uh, we can choose uh, between thin medium and thick uh, let's leave it medium and we can also set its text stroke color and basically that's it for the heading element as i said uh, it has only few options all right let's move on to the next element uh, it's gonna be video uh, let's add the video to our builder and I'm gonna change the default video to something maybe more interesting. Uh, also, I would like to autoplay my video and I want to remove the controls as well, uh, as I don't need them. Okay, that should be fine now. Great. Uh, so and now we can move to the mask shape a tab which is at the bottom of the video element uh, by default it's set to none uh, so the first thing i'm gonna uh, set is uh, select the predefined uh, shape like you can see we have few like blob and the other shape of blob the brush second brush circle cross and some other uh, for this video i'm gonna choose the brush one uh, to show you how you can play with the shape on video all right so uh, the first thing you can set is the mask color it's basically the color that is uh, on our mask shape uh, you can select of course any color you like but I'm not gonna choose any here uh, the other option is size 
Uh, by default, it's contained, but you can set it to cover uh, the default one, or you can also set to custom. If you choose the custom, uh, you will see um, the scroll bar uh, with the scale uh, option, and you can adjust it to any size you like. Uh, the next one is position. And just like uh, in for the heading, you can choose between many various positions, including the custom one. And if you will set the custom, uh, you will have some scrollbars as well. And you can change the position like you can see right now uh, in X axis. Or if you want, you can also change in Y axis. It just depends on your needs, what you exactly need. Uh, the other option is repeat. Uh, it won't work in this case because the shape is uh, too big. So there is no space to repeat the shapes. But if you will make the shape smaller, then you can repeat them in X and Y axis. Of course, you can change its positions as well or you can scale okay as so we already have the heading and the video element uh, we can move to the image let's add it just underneath the video and let's set the image okay uh, so if we move to the mask shape tab again uh, by default it's set to none just like in case of video and uh, let's forget about the predefined uh, shapes because right now I'm gonna show you how to apply the custom shape for the uh, image uh, so basically uh, we can also set the mask color but it won't work right now because we have no masks there uh, and that's why I'm gonna apply the mask I made already. I made this mask in the Photoshop, but you can also make it in any software like Figma. Uh, it's important that the mask should be exported in PNG or SVG file. Okay, so if we have our mask, uh, we can move to the size. Uh, I'm gonna show you how the custom size works and we can change its position as well just like in the case of the video and the heading also we can repeat our mask and x y and x and y as you can see, applying masks is pretty easy and quick process and for sure will bring a nice touch to your project. In combination with other Builder features, it gives you unlimited possibilities in creating. I hope that from now on this feature will become an indispensable part of your future projects. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.